totally eight years as a faculty. And uh, 1970, when Professor A. Ramachandran, Art Cut Ramachandran was a director, he asked me to get trained in Berlin in NDT. I said that would be useful for the country. Ramachandran, Art Cut Ramachandran was a director. So that is how my career started in NDT. And uh, that time, NBT was looked upon as an abnormal metallurgy, not regular metallurgy, something funny, something strange. So many of us, like me, Bhaskaran, and we were all the kind of pioneers, we started the non-destructive testing. It's a highly interdisciplinary program. But we started it anyway. In IIT, I started the teaching at MTech level, and in PhD, we started. I got some awards, NDT and all that. And uh, now, because of coronavirus, my consultancy has stopped, and uh, nobody is calling now. I only produce DVDs. Uh, if any of you is interested, you can visit my site, right? Now, NDT, why did it start in the United States of America? That's where it started as a certification program. Lots of accidents took place in the Cincinnati area. You won't believe something like 80 boilers exploded and the deaths were there. Then they said, okay, we need a boiler code. That is how the ASME boiler code started and all the other countries followed suit. They said, you just can't allow everybody to fabricate a boiler and use it. It needs a regular certification program as uh, Sri Balakrishnan was mentioning, just the qualification is not enough. You must get the certification so that you can properly carry out the test. This is different from other engineering branches. I get a degree in metallurgy, I can practice metallurgy without problem. But I may be very knowledgeable in NBT, but to sign a document, I should have the proper certification. You all must have seen the movie, right? The China Syndrome. The China Syndrome movie was completely around non-destructive testing based on the radiographic method. I got four NDT is, we are always worried about cracks and controlling the cracks. Crack is a major problem for engineers. Please note there are three institutes in Germany that work on the presence of cracks and their problem. Any crack is a potential place where your structure might fail. So what are the opportunities available in India for the NDT people? Sri Balakrishnan was mentioning about one, level one, level two, level three. That is one way, and that is number two I have mentioned, to do NDT directly in the field, in addition to your qualification. Kindly note, plus two is enough. There's no need for engineering degree. But if you have an engineering degree, then you can go far ahead in the field, right? Obviously. So that is one way. Directly you carry out NDT professional, as a professional work and get level one and two and three. You can always add it as an additional tool as an engineer. It's very beneficial in the modern world because you have some extra knowledge, extra qualification with you. And then third one is 
the the field is very wide open in NDT right now with Amazon and all these things giving us uh, spare parts and microphones all imported. It's an ideal time to fabricate small NDT equipment and start selling. I myself, I have fabricated one uh, acoustic analyzer for testing metallic and ceramic components. It's a very good time. I feel that people must join up and make small gadgets and tools and on. The field is unlimited. You must visit Professor K. Bala Subramanian's laboratory and see how creatively people are creating gadgets. Every field needs NDT, civil engineering, chemical, electronics, fab techniques, metallurgic, all need NDT techniques. The fifth one is you can be a very uh, involved NDT trainer. It is also a very rewarding thing now because so many institutes are coming up, so many people are getting educated and uh, with the new online training, I suppose it will be quite uh, an active or ever expanding field. Now, uh, I mentioned all this. In IIT, we have a regular uh, NDT program. We teach both at the undergraduate and at the postgraduate level. It's quite involved, it's much more than level three. They will try to solve partial differential equations and so on, wave equations and so on, because we need a high theoretical that. And then, uh, right now, when Ranjit Bauri is uh, conducting the classes in IIT, I know him pretty well. So what I would say is get properly qualified, as uh, Mr. Barakishnan said, there are a lot of certifications in. As he rightly said, approach ISNT, and then they will guide you. I think they are very good. Don't go to all and sundry places and waste your money. Some people will, if you pay 15,000 rupees, by evening they will give you five certificates. And those things are quite useless. Sooner or later, you have to sit down and read the subject. So better go to ISNT and get trained properly in all the methods. There are a number of recent techniques, phased array ultrasonic, time of flight, digital radiography, and um, you know, people are making uh, quite a bit of money. But let me also caution you. The golden period for NDT was in 1985, 1995. Anybody who could have a certificate, even a BSc, was making tons of money here, Singapore, Malaysia, Middle East, and so on. That kind of uh, uh, thing is now reduced. I would say it is a golden period now. It's more like a, what the uh, Germans call it as broad study. You can earn your livelihood quite effectively. And there is, we, we are very fortunate in Chennai, around Chennai, we have some excellent NDT places. One is IIT Madras, Professor Krishnan Balasubramanyam was a professor at Mississippi State University in NDT. He came here, joined IIT Madras, and we are really fortunate to have him here. He's called as one of the giants in NDT, and uh, he runs a very lovely laboratory with a lot of foreign programs and so on. I myself am doing a project for him for Mazagan Dog Submarine Program. He's an absolutely aggressive NDT person. He has run about seven companies under his guidance, robotics, artificial intelligence, and name it, he has it. Can you visit his site? And any of you young students who want to do something good and then come up in career, contact him. So I would say the first place, if your aims are high, would be IIT Chennai. And then uh, NIT Trichy, I have been associated with them a long back also. 
they run a very good MTech program. I myself have recruited some of the MTech graduates. It's a very highly competitive program, and that's a very good one. Then PhD, you can do it in Madras University or at IIT Madras. Now you see, right from plus two joining uh, level one up to PhD, we have established it. We uh, uh, we started from 1970, and slowly we have put everything together so that an NDT professional will have a reasonable career. Right earlier, a fellow will work for eight to ten years in KCP. If he changes a job, he won't be able to show anything to the new employer in the form of his experience. So now there are qualification programs. So the candidate can happily go and tell the new employer and show him his certificates and qualifications. We have established a graded um, graduation program. NIT, I'm, I'm very happy with them. You have IIT Chennai, you have Bangalore, General Electric is doing good work, Indian Institute of Science is doing good work, ISRO, Sri Harikota is doing good work. Indira Gandhi Center for Research, and uh, where uh, earlier um, we had uh, uh, Jay Kumar, now one uh, Rao, Gupesh or Rao is working. So they are all leading. We are very, very, um, a cluster of good entity centers are around in Chennai. That way, I would say um, next to Bombay. Obviously, Bombay is always number one. Uh, pretty much there. Yoke. And if you, if any of you uh, BTEC graduates want to go abroad and do a PhD or MTech, there are quite a few universities that offer. Don't keep out of it. Don't keep out of it because uh, it so happens that in foreign countries, the locals do not go for post graduation. So it is a good, um, good open area for Indians, uh, provided they are in the first class category, uh, to go abroad and do get the certification. One such is Iowa State. I know Professor Dr. Gurupa, she used to come here and now she has retired. She used to run the laboratory there. Iowa State is very famous and uh, you have, I already mentioned all this. These are all the institutes with which I am uh, connected with it. There is a college, College of Engineering is there, that is also pretty famous in the US. Iowa State is probably the number one. Some of the things I have mentioned uh, where uh, uh, a student who has some extra energy, extra fizz, and who wants to come up, uh, opportunities are there. And ultimately, let me caution one thing to you. An individual is more important than the area. A good individual can succeed in any area, right? And that is the fundamental thing, most important thing. The area itself, per se, cannot take the student to the front. Huh? The student must be having uh, the enthusiasm and the dynamism to go forward. Right. We cannot just say I joined MDT. I did not. And there is the bomb. A lot of Indians go to bomb, Bundes and Star for material program. I myself was trained there for six months under Professor Kiberhard Dundri. Excellent place. They come here to India quite often to IIT Madras and so on. Dresden is there. Don't lose sight of all these things because now it is all globalized. We cannot say. Uh, that is different in India, it's different and all that. This is about the thing. Lastly, one, um, just to show you this. You can kindly visit my site. Uh, it's called www.ndtoptech.com. I have released 16 DVDs, including the latest one on uh, infrared thermography. They're all reasonably well received both here 
Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia. Of course, mostly the buyers are Indians settled there. Anyway, I'm quite happy about the way it is selling. <laughs> American society of not, now the level three, you don't have to go through ISNT. Kindly note, you can straight go to ASNT, register yourself and take the online level three examination. ISNT has been, uh, is not there now in the picture. There are Velu Institute of Technology, VIT, is the organizer for level three in Tamil Nadu. So you have to approach them and just like you take GRE or TOEFL, the same organization is conducting the level three examination and you take it, it's an online examination. Uh, one last word I would like to tell you is, uh, we are all engineers, we are all professionals. Our ethical standards must be very high. Why? When we give data, the data must have integrity. We cannot cheat on that. Having said that, in NDT, the importance is much more. When we collect data on radiography, ultrasonic, and submit it to various organizations, a high level of integrity is needed, right? We cannot uh, submit wrong reports. People's lives are involved. So in ASMT level three, especially 10 questions are asked only for, only on ethics, because ethics are very important in NDT. It's very easy to cheat. And that's the very reason they teach um, uh, ethics, ethics, professional ethics, not private ethics, not my religion. They are not teaching that. They are teaching professional ethics. When you should say to your boss, this is the correct thing as per my technical knowledge, you must have that uh, strength of character, right? And that is very important in, uh, in DT. This jokingly, I have said, in my days when we grew up, uh, my teachers and parents used to say, the wealth is lost, nothing is lost. The health is lost, something is lost. The character is lost, everything is lost. I think I must have been told this not more than 20 or 30 times in my life. Probably right now we have to read it upside down. It's a joke. And then a last word to the youngsters, uh, uh, choice in marriage and career should be only yours. You can't take everybody else's word very seriously or uh, very, very, uh, I mean, you, you should consider their opinion, but you should ultimately make your decision because you are going to live with the decision throughout your life. There is no reset button. Having come this far, now I cannot think, oh, I should have taken electronics or medicine, right? It is a one-way street. It just goes on and on and on. So think calmly, and then I'm telling this to the youngsters, because Balakrishnan gave me to understand some of your very young people finishing graduation. So a correct choice, I call it planning the career and planning the life is very, very clear. Right? What do we say in Tamil? Mudal Konal Mutvilum Konal. So, first step we have to take correctly so that the carrier works very nice. Thank you. Is it okay, Balakrishnan? Yeah. 15 minutes. Okay. Rita? Yes, please. Participant may ask any doubts. Yeah, any clarification. Are you were you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, other part yes uh, good good evening, Doctor. This is Murali IAW here. I went through. Oh, <laughs> Murali, thank you. Thank you. And you know, my my friends, I just want to tell as Mr. Balakrishnan said, he is also my guru. He pulled me from welding to NDT also because of him early, I'm able to learn NDT. <laughs> oh, 
otherwise i would have not uh, learned ndt he pulled me from welding to ndt so i am as he said uh, the choice you have the right choice you have to take care yeah, yeah. Very, very important well, uh, professor can you elaborate the career opportunity for the students in ndt ndt as i said uh, they can pursue their own engineering global standard of at present uh, you can continue with your own engineering mechanical civil chemical or electrical because every engineering has an ndt component so you can always use ndt as an additional tool for example i am a metallurgist i use scanning electron microscope i use transmission electron microscope but i am not an expert in both these electron microscopes but i use them regularly in my field in my work similarly you can carry on with your civil engineering design or uh, whatever and um, mechanical engineering uh, design and all that and use ndt quite effectively as an additional tool that i would recommend to most of you because if you take ndt as a career it's a big decision so there you have to pause and think whether you really want to do it now if you really take ndt as a career if you are in a fresh graduate or not an engineering graduate i would recommend going through level 1 level 2 level 3 let us say if you are already got 10 years experience in level 3 and you are a post graduate or engineering graduate with 10 years experience then go for regular post graduation now excellent opportunities are available get properly qualified in ndt either mtech or phd either in india i would always recommend iit madras or go abroad go abroad there are lots of opportunities of don't shun from it and of course from is throwing cold water on all the indian students i think it's only a passing phase i have been there i have worked in nasa langley for as a contractor for 2 years they need a lot of young fresh hands to do their work so there's always opportunity for indians to go there and work and you can always go to a good institute and get yourself qualified and uh, otherwise if you're an experienced man as i heard Mr. Rao or somebody, you can put up your put. You can you can start your own shop. Uh, now I wouldn't recommend go to the conventional uh, method, PT and TRT and all that. It's overcrowded. A uh, lot of uh, you know, it's like buying a foundry product in Coimbatore. Right? If you say you will sell it for two hundred rupees, another Indian fellow will say I give it to you for hundred and eighty. go for the latest techniques computer radiography right cat paut time of flight diffraction i saw your slides just some time back or um uh, let's say um, uh, field matrix method total what is it total collection method i i made one deviation to know the again better so all these techniques are uh, they are coming expensive costly equipment are moving into the country clients is buying and we need guys to understand first the technique right that is very critical that is very very important and then operate them correctly and give the correct result we need a lot of people the scope is quite high so it's for the latest method Then just just don't go to PT MT. Just leave it. If you are a fresh graduate, please go to the latest one, or for graduation, or abroad. I should not be. Uh, now that I am out of IIT, I can happily tell you go to 
go abroad. If I were in IIT, I wouldn't talk like that. Is it okay, Balakrishnan? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, I am photo warm up. I am very, very unhappy. Mm. Mm. Photo is not coming. Admit. Excellent. Hope you are able to see me. Thank you, Doctor. Very nice. My study room. Yes. Any other questions? Nice to hear your voice, Murali. When did you come back from Australia? Only, sir, for, uh, from uh, I think February onwards he is here only. He is in the mute mode. Mute. Any questions? Me. Tomorrow, my cutter. Two to me. That's right. Suresh. Huh? Any questions from about this month? Doctor is waiting. Just a minute, sir. Check up with them. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. In public sector, how it is useful, sir? No, write an exam like that. In NDT exams. Uh, public, sector, public sector company, sir. Yeah. If you have welding, casting, forging, fabrication techniques, heat treatment, then NDT will be very useful. And uh, if it is a uh, plastics design, I think NDT is less useful. Nowadays, most of the manufacturing methods are going for automation. Even Chennai, many of the companies have fully automated magnetic particle testing, uh, mechanical tests, so on. And uh, NDT with automation, with AI and with electronic, it's a winner. It's going to be a winner. I mean, you can't have uh, without AI and uh, without uh, uh, automation, uh, you can't have any more, no more you can have manufacturing industry. You just visit any of the manufacturing industry, automobile components around Chennai, they're all very well automated. The NDT is automated. One of my friends, Vivek Rajamani, he sells uh, automated magnetic particle testing units for both visual testing and magnetic particle testing. And um, I think the whole technology in another three, four, five years is going to be looking different. Right now, uh, automobile sector in India, if you go around, um, and I go there sometimes, uh, you find it is more like cottage industry. But um, people are pushing it. Some of the uh, fellows, uh, young people are pushing it. They are introducing uh, automation. Mr. Dr. Uh, Krishnan Balas Gurmanian himself is introducing artificial intelligence, effect characterization by software. All exciting fields are coming. And uh, I think young people should be there, should move there, move there, not sit with the older things. Yes, sir. And one more thing, let me tell you, um, the American Society of Non-Destructive Testing is nowadays conducting seminars online. Even tomorrow there is one. And uh, they're very good seminar. Those who are uh, professionally qualified in NDT may like to attend them. Uh, I attended one of it. Uh, they're very good. You don't have to go, to go to US and listen to an expert. You can sit here and listen to an expert. Right? Uh, 
is a great boon that we have now due to all this modern technology. Yes, sir, I wish you all very nice. What does AEC stand for? Arasa Engineering College. Okay, okay, okay. Arasa Engineering College. Quite a lot of from there, right? They, I wish you all the best. You can even write to me uh, by email if you want any clarification. Kindly visit my site. I kept a lot of information. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Is it Suresh Kumar? Yes, sir. Can I see your face? Um, sites, <laughs> site, websites, names, sir. Ah, I saw your face in what is app. Yes, sir. That, that was not very clear. Okay, okay, sir. Fantastic. Kindly, you are doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's all your blessings, sir. The, the, the scope is enormous. Take all of them to Krishnan's lab and show them what is happening. His companies, his Dwani, and all that, all exciting things are happening. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank okay, you. bye. All the best to all of you. Thank you, Balakrishnan and Thank Suresh, you. for inviting me. <laughs> Balakrishnan is more than a friend to me. Thank you. Thank you. May I request uh, Mr. R.G. Batmanabhan, head of the Department of Automobile Engineering, to propose a vote of thanks. Please, sir. Batmanabhan, sir. Hello. Is it audible? Yes, sir. It is audible, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, Balaishan, sir. And uh, Prabhar, sir. It's very much thanks for for giving a wonderful presentation. First of all, I thanks to our management, principal, vice principal, dean of academics, and cheerful thanks to the colleagues, Mr. S. Sundar Salvan, head of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, both the department faculties, and the organizing committee, R. Suresh Kumar, A. Arun, P. Vignesh, R. Karthikeyan, and technical supportive staff from various departments, and my heartful thanks to our special speakers, Mr. R. Bala, Balakrishnan, sir, retired manager, corporate quality, BHL, Chennai, proprietor of Twintex Training Institute, Chennai, and other, other staff is special.